Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Living Shadow Tarot. I would try to sit, but my cat has taken refuge in the back of my chair. So, she tries to sit here whenever I'm not sitting here. When I am sitting here, she just sits here anyway. So, <laughs> this is going to be what's to come in 2021. Oh, now you want to move. Okay, well, you better fix something over here, uh, little lady, because both of us big old booties can't fit in this chair together like this. All right, you guys. What's to come in 2021? What's to come in 2021? Now, I do want to let you guys know before we get too deep, um, if you are lacking content or you feel like you need to watch uh more you need you feel like you need more information about things there are there are videos that aren't on youtube but are on the assassin archive so if you want to get extra content the content beyond what is on the u of the tube you may want to go to the link in the description below also when you go there i am selling intention candles now handmade with my own two widow hands see i broke my nail or my nail flew off I know it needed to come off, but dang, it like flew off. It didn't go in the candle, though. It did not go in the candle. It did not go in the candle. It just, you know, working. Working, 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 working for the parking. It's all here just working, just slaving away. Okay. All right. Uh, Zodiac shirts are still available in the shop, too. That's on the shadow site in the link in the description below. Also, you guys can follow me on Twitter to see my tweets about different things. If you want to, that's in the description below. Donations are accepted as well. That is linked in the description below. So, just so you know, everything is below. <laughs> Taurus, so we have Knight of Pentacles in your what's to come for 2021. Knight of Pentacles is your first card here. So, it seems like you're on a slow, steady pace right now. You're very much so, uh, you wanting to take over, you wanting to build up your stability, you want your life to, um, you're, you're on your path to creating a legacy at this moment. You're, you're trying to do everything you can to sort of make sure that all the areas of your life are where they want it to be. A lot of planning, a lot of strategic action here. Six of Swords, maybe also a lot of traveling, um, a lot of really declaring what it is that you want and what it is that you're looking for. Um, not getting like necessarily romantically, but just in your life. Like you are very much like saying, this is what I want. 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 I want this. I want this. I want that. And you don't care whether or not it sinks the ship or not. You're stating it because at the end of the day, you feel like that is what's going to be stable. Absolutely. Uh, Three of Pentacles. So, um, you do realize some things here with the Lover's card. You may be having some realizations about love or about your choices. Deep choices, your choices in people. Um, and we also have this Queen of Wands here, right? I'm getting, you realize that you maybe have chosen people who weren't necessarily as fun for you or didn't make you feel like zest for life. And so, I think you're really, you're reevaluating the people you have around you. Like, because you... You want that zest for life, right? You want to be stable, but you also want to have some form of fun. I don't think you want to be, you know, like in the house all day, every day. But you, it's it's like weird. It's like a different kind of balance, I think, of that than what you may have previously had. Taurus, what's to come in 2021? Ooh, everything apparently. Hold on. Okay, so... You're going to not take all those. Okay. So we have Queen of Pentacles here. Came out first. So again, stability. Going towards stability. Um, we got two queens together. So I'm getting with these two. Well, actually three queens. Because then the Queen of Cups came out right after that too. So you're really upgrading. You're upgrading. Like... Uh, like, as in upgrading to the point where the people who may have seen you before 
who may see you um, in January with this Nine of Pentacles energy are not going to be able to recognize you because you're going to have three queens of energy, right? Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. You're going to be stable, you're going to be fun, and you're going to be more emotionally available, more emotionally vulnerable. And then we have Nine of Cups here, right? More emotionally vulnerable. So, in addition to obsession, this is emotional vulnerability, right? Because this person is laying it all out on the line. Laying it all out on the line. Everything. To try and get someone, right? That's how they... You know, Knight of Pentacles strategically plans. Knight of Wands goes in and kind of like does a hostile takeover, right? Knight of Swords just come in and probably like cut you off with the words. Knight of Cups is, I'm going to kill you with kindness. That's the conqueror that kills with kindness. Ooh. The conqueror that kills with kindness. And that's an alliteration for you ass. We got six of cups here. So there's some reunions. So I don't know if you, um, if you are new to this channel, please check out my previous videos. Subscribe, 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 and check out these previous videos. Um, the last one I had in December was about mending your relationships, right? So this is one of those things where I'm, I'm in 2021, this is going to become very, very important because you're going to want to... It seems like you're going to want to go back to these relationships and lay everything out on the line. Where before you may have been guarded, you want to be a lot more emotionally available. You want to show people that you've grown, right? With these three queens here, and we were just talking about that upgrade. You want to show people that you've grown. You want to show people that you're different. This could be past lovers, right? I don't know. I, I, and I'm saying that because of this lover's card here. But I'm also getting... Um, you know how Ariana and Thank You Next was talking about all her past lovers and how, you know, like, oh, this one taught me this and this and this and this and this. It's like you're kind of going through that. Like, you want to show everybody what you learned from dealing with these people that you've been with before. Like, you've learned this and that and emotional stability and, and, and emotional control and, and stability and how to have fun and how to be a little bit more care. Like, you, you've you learned these things. And I, I'm getting you kind of want to show that off, especially the people who... Um, in your life may have never really seen this side of you before. You kind of want to show off a new side of yourself in 2021. What's to come in 2021? Okay, you got eight of wands here. A lot of travel for you. Lots and lots of travel for you. Right. And again, with this eight of wands and six of swords, it's like you... There's travel involved. And... Is these are both travel cards, you know what I'm saying? So that's double up the travel, right? You ain't staying at home. <laughs> you got enough of that in the in the previous year. <laughs> We're not even gonna mention it anymore. In the previous year, you had enough of that. Okay, so we got the fool here. New beginnings. Um, so you do recognize you want you need something new in your life. You need something different in your life. Um, we have page of cups here again. That comes underneath the lovers. So. Lots of love messages, lots of passionate choices, lots of passionate choices, lots of love offers in 2021. Um, there's been a thing about Rahu and K2, right? Um, that's basically the North and South Node, and they're in movement, right? So a lot of people's life purpose has been activated. So uh, this is really big for tourists because I just believe that, you know, like maybe before a lot of times people have had relationship issues. I know like as a Scorpio, we've had relationship issues. Um, those are kind of being examined and looked at. And so I'm getting that you kind of have that same kind of energy where like they're being examined and looked at. Um, especially in 2021 here, you're, 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 your past love experiences and your past love karmic lessons and your past love, um, I don't, just people you've had in your life are really going to be highlighted in 2021, right? And it's not in a bad way, but it's for your growth. You're going to really start seeing where things you may have settled for last year, you don't really want to settle for this year. Things you may have done last year, you don't really want to do this year. Thing, people you've talked to last year, you don't even want to talk to them this year. Like, just different things. Like, you're going to you're gonna really start seeing, like, I don't know, I guess not even the damage, but the effects that all these, these different people have had on your life in different ways. With the Six of Pentacles here, you're definitely going to be seeing that. Where things were balanced, where things were unbalanced, where things were materialistic. Where, I, like, just, you know... And I'm not getting that this is all entirely for um, them, for the other person, but it's for you too, like where you went wrong and things like that. It's going to be a very, very big year of of that for you, right? Because 
And here's the thing, when you do that, that gets you to where you're trying to go. That gets you to where you're trying to go, right? If you can if you can learn from the past, then you can move forward to the future. I don't know what your north node is. If you want to look um, in the description below, it's also going to be a link to astrocharts.com, which you can put in and find out all um, the information on your birth chart. And um, when you do that, you'll see where your north and south node is. So you got to click on all the little things in the planetary section. Click on all the planets, all the asteroids um, to get to that uh, part. It should be North Node and True North, I believe. And your North Node is always the exact opposite side of your South Node. So, um, like for me, my North Node is Sagittarius, South Node is Gemini. I know a lot of people um, born around my time seem to have that same uh, sort of placement. So, that's what it is. So, if your North Node is, uh, I don't know, it's just going to be the opposite side. Okay. Um, we got five of swords here. Yeah, so communication issues. So you may have had a lot of communication issues in the past that you're trying to work through, right? Um, again, with these six of the six of swords and five of swords, it definitely looks like you've had a lot of communication issues that you have to work through. Mm -hmm. Communication issues that probably brought a lot of pain. Yeah, nine of swords haunting. We got two of cups here in reverse. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. The Magician in reverse. And the Page of Swords. So with this, it's like you... Your, maybe your communication skills have maybe um, kind of sabotaged you in a lot of ways. Um, giving you a lot of pain because you're so not a communicator that you really don't. Like, like before when I said that Six of Swords in the very beginning of the reading when I was talking about how you're going to be saying stuff now and not giving a fuck if it, you know, sinks the ship or not or anything like that. It's, it's like you realize that you be, like closed mouths don't get fed, right? So you not saying anything or you not really speaking of what it is you actually want and what it is that you actually are looking for or what it is like in being very, very detailed leads you to pain and then you start suffering and like why is this me why me you know to a cups in reverse then you know people get away from people who you want in your life don't stay in your life with a fortune in reverse it's it's you feel like you have bad luck in a sense like you feel like you have a you have it's not even that you have bad luck it's more so that you don't understand your power with this magician card. Taurus, you are you're supposed to be the ruler of the throat chakra. And you guys are the people who don't express themselves. The, which is the funniest part. I'm like, how? Right? You don't express yourselves, but you guys are supposed to be ruling the throat chakra. The, that's the chakra of self-expression. And speaking. Which you just don't do. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? And, like, speaking what it is you want. Or, like... It, Speaking your self-expression. Okay. We got King of Swords here. Okay. Becoming a master communicator, right? And I'm getting that you're kind of trying to watch some things with this Page of Swords and King of Swords. You're probably trying to watch some things, some people. And again, you're kind of also looking back at your previous lovers and your previous, um, I don't know, just like your connections in your life. And learning, maybe learning from how how you dealt with them or how they've dealt with you, how to be a better how to be a better communicator. I'm getting that's like your real big thing in 2021 is being a better communicator. Yeah, three of wands and the lovers again. So, and then that being a better communicator is going to lead you to where it is you actually want because you're going to find people who speak your love language when you learn how to describe your love language to them. In a sense, let me get some psychic to real course to cruise uh, the reading. Mm -hmm. Are you enjoying yourself? I hope so. We haven't even shut off the cannon yet. <laughs> yes, I really do kind of have a cannon now. I mean, it's a fog machine, but it's fine. 
Um, we got sacral chakra here. So your feminine energy, your intuition, that's going to be like a big focus for you. Is that feminine energy, your intuition, that gut feeling. That's what this one is. Is right above the root chakra. So it's that gut feeling. It's your desires, going after your desires, and being in tune with your desires, being in tune with what it is you actually want. You're going to be very, very uh, working on that this year. Obstacles and challenges. So there are obstacles and challenges that are said to be had. Um, again, you're going to be working through them. And I'm getting the biggest one is your communication. I'm, I'm just getting it. <coughs> yeah, stand your ground. See, even that cough. Mm -hmm. your, your communication is your biggest issue because I was not trying to cough and I just coughed. That's, that's your issue right there. Um, stand your ground is here with the seven. So again, uh, um, more energy of when I was saying before that we like you don't care like you are being stubborn in a sense, but more in a sense of like I am ultimately looking for my utmost stability, and I am not backing down from that. And then we got here. Firm foundation. Yeah, again, you're looking for that firm foundation, that stability. You're, you know, when I'm saying, like, you really are going for, like, 2020, 20, 2021 is going to be the year where you, like, I guess put, like, put your place in the world. Like, this is the place in the world I'm going to be at. Whether that is one physical location or... A new sense of yourself and where and how you exist in this world. Okay. Well then. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> Let's have a 2021 celebration canon. Oh, we're in 2021 now. Live it up, live it up, live it up, live it up, live it up. <laughs> oh. If you like this vibe, please subscribe. Feel the vibe and subscribe. I will see the ones who do later on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bye.